indeed. I have nothing whatever to do with the IEA. I've known the IEA for a very long time. Both Ralph Harris and Arthur Selden were good friends of mine, and so I've been uh, uh, in, in touch with the IEA over a very long period of time. But as I say, I'm not part of the IEA, but I thought that when they introduced this idea, this inspired idea of having this prize for the best essay on the subject which uh, Mark has just outlined to you and I won't repeat, that was an excellent plan. So when they asked me if I would chair the uh, panel of judges, I was honored and very happy to do so. I was very happy to do so because this is a momentous decision. This is an important decision. It's an historic decision which uh, we will have to make uh, if and when the uh, 2017 in-out referendum happens. Uh, it, uh, at the moment, it is only the Conservative Party which has promised this. But my thinking is that given uh, that the British people so clearly want to be given the opportunity to express their view on this issue, that as we get closer to the election in 2015, it is going to be very difficult for the Labour Party to say, no, we won't allow you to have your say. So I think there is a high likelihood that there will be, whichever party wins the election, I obviously would prefer it to be the Conservative Party, but whichever party wins the election, I think there's a high, there's a likelihood that, the, that there will be this referendum in 2017. And if there is going to be a referendum, then it is very important that the issue is fully debated. And in particular, it is important because I have made no uh, secret of the fact that I have come to the conclusion that we would be much better off uh, outside the European Union. Uh, and this is incidentally not because I'm the slightest bit anti-European. Indeed, I live on the continent of Europe. I live in France, and I live in France very happily out of choice. But that is a quite different thing from being entangled with membership of the European Union and all that that implies. But the psychology of the British people nearly always is better keep a hold of nurse for fear of finding something worse. And that is what, in fact, the referendum will be about. And therefore, it's very important that there isn't this great fear of what might happen, that, that we can spell out, if there is this result in the referendum, which I would like to see personally, speaking purely personally, uh, what the consequences will be. What are the economic implications? Uh, and how do we make the most of the situation which we find ourselves in economically? What are the legal implications? And that is an important dimension too, and how we handle that. And of course, what are the political implications? So this is, uh, so that when the referendum comes, the British people will be able to judge, obviously not on the basis of knowing the future, because the future is inherently unknowable. But it won't be a great black box. There will be a route map. There will be an understanding of how it would pan out were, they would, were the British people to choose to leave and have a Brexit, as it has come to be called. So I think this is an excellent competition. I hope we get a whole lot of really good entries. I think it is a public service which you at the IEA are performing. And I look forward immensely with my fellow judges to looking at the entries that are, that are being produced. Thank you very much.